it's giving me 120 so the factorial of 5 is i think 120 hello welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we'll see how to find the factorial of a number in appian okay and it's an interview question so without wasting any more time let's get right into the video so let me quickly create a rule for that okay i'll create an expression rule and we'll name it as k underscore find factorial of a number cool create and i will be doing that with the help of recursion so i have created a expression rule now we'll call this expression rule inside itself okay now let me first call this rule k find factorial of a number now i cannot see any parameters because i haven't created any rule inputs right so before even calling this rule i will have to create certain rule inputs okay let me first create those rule inputs okay i need index index this should be number integer and the other one should be for storing the factorial okay fact we'll name it as fact that should be number integer okay so i need two rule inputs now let me just save it if i call this rule inside itself i can see these two parameters k okay. factorial factorial okay it's fine factorial my bad fine factorial of a number now you can see two rule, rule inputs right so now before even calling this i will have to initialize some local variables okay so a bang local variables one for the index local index and we'll use if condition to check whether my rule input is null or not okay if it is null or empty a bang is null or empty if it is null or empty ri index then my index should be 1 okay because index starts from 1 so it should be 1 else it should use the value of ri index okay ri index all right and the same condition will be used for fact we'll declare another local variable and name it as local fact let me just copy this condition and paste it over here if ri fact is null then it should be one else use ri fact as local fact okay ri fact now i will be calling this rule inside itself okay rule k find factorial of a number okay here i have two parameters index and fact so index i have to pass the index right index would be my local index okay but at the same time i have to increment this as well plus one and the next one is fact i have to multiply and store the value in this rule input okay so how would i do that i need a list for that first right so let me declare another local variable for list local list cool my list should be uh, let's say i want to find the factorial of 5 okay so it should be enumerate of 5 if i use enumerate here enumerate of 5 it would give me 1 2 3 4 5 and that should be my list right enumerate of 5 and plus 1 to exclude 0 and to include the last number which is 5 okay now i have to find the number in my list so with the help of index function we'll find the number at the provided index okay so index local list list then index should be local index and default parameter okay so this would give me let's say if my list is one two three four five and i'm finding the number 
at index 2 this would give me 2 right so here after finding the number at the given index I will be multiplying that number with local fact right into local fact okay so for the first call my local fact would be null it would use 1 as its default value right so 1 is the value of local fact and here index at index 1 we will be having 1 so 1 into 1 1 so it will store 1 as its fact okay but one thing to keep in mind is that this will go into infinite execution so we will have to handle it right with some conditions here I will have to handle it handle as in when it should stop when it should call this rule okay so here I will use condition if local index exceeds the count of my list okay local list if it exceeds the count of my list it should return me the fact ri fact right else call this rule let me just quickly test this out to see if it is working or not but even before testing this rule out i will have to save the changes if i don't save the changes it would return me i think null let's see test rule yeah null text right empty quotes it's because we haven't saved the changes yet and it's calling an empty rule with those two rule inputs right index and fact so i will have to save this in order to make it work now if i test this again it's giving me 120 so the factorial of 5 is i think 120 which is correct right so now let me show you guys how it is working okay so here i have these two condition to check whether my rule input is null or empty if it is null then it should use one as its index okay else it should use the value of ri index and the same goes for the local fact if it is null then it should use one as its value i can't pass zero here because i will be multiplying my local fact by each item in the given list so this can't be zero if i multiply something by zero it would be zero so this has to be one okay now here local list is my list I am finding the factorial of 5 here. So I have passed 5 over here. Okay. And then we have if condition. To stop the execution of this rule. Once the local index exceeds the count of my list. Count of my list is 5. Once it becomes 6. It would stop then and there. And it would return me whatever has been stored in ri fact. Okay. If it is not greater than the count of my local list it would call this rule so let's say for the very first call my index would be 1 1 here here it is 1 because array index is null or empty so here it is 1 1 plus 1 2 we are passing 2 to this array index right and here index of local list local what is the value of local index it's 1 right so at index 1 we have 1 in our local list let me quickly show you guys that as well in local list at index 1 we have 1 right so here we are getting 1 and 1 into local fact 1 1 into 1 1 so the value of ri fact is 1 and the value of ri index is 2 for the very first call now second call local index becomes 2 right it's 2 now so 2 is greater than count of local list no it's not greater than the count of my local list it would execute this statement okay here we increment index by 1 which becomes 3 now okay and then we are searching that number at index 2 right because the current index is 2 so at index 2 we have 2 2 into local fact what is the value of local fact if it is null then it should be 1 else ri fact ri fact is not null it's 1 so we are using 1 here 1 into 2 right 1 into 2 becomes 2 so here the value gets changed to 2 and here it gets changed to 3 okay now for the third call so again local index is smaller than the count of my local list 
so it would call this rule and here we are again incrementing it by 1 so index becomes 4 now and in fact we are searching that number right we at index 3 we have 3 right in local list so here it gives us 3 3 into local fact local fact is 2 right we are using the value of r i fact if it is not null or empty so it's 2 2 into 3 gives us 6 6 okay now it has been stored as 6 and this has become 4 okay and same goes for the fourth fifth and the remaining calls okay so that's how it is working if i just find the factorial of 6 okay let me just change this to 6 and test this again but i will have to again save it it has been saved now if i test this again it gives me 720 which is correct so that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye